Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a video here where I did buy a de-stash purchase, some things from Wilkinson's and a little bit of a Lush haul. I just thought I'd throw them all into one video. So if you don't like this sort of video, don't watch it, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. I did buy a small de-stash of Super Tarts, which is these three items and everything in front of it, so this side here, is all freebies really generous lady did not have to send me all these freebies and we've managed to find scent notes for everything and yeah let's just jump on into it so I'll do the freebies first first one I have got here is Amityville which is one I have not tried this is lavender strawberry and mac apple you definitely get her lavender and mac apple they're really strong notes I'm not getting strawberry but I'm not sure whether that would come out on warm. So that's going in my melt box for this week, just to give it a go. Next one I've got here is Casper. And this is one that I'm not sure that I would like, but I'll give it a go anyway. This is toasted marshmallow, vanilla bean noel, cornbread and Mexican fried ice cream. So I'm not a bakery lover anyway. But this is actually quite nice. It's a sweet scent, probably because of the toasted marshmallow and vanilla bean noel. But you do still get that sort of cornbread note. And I'm not sure what Mexican fried ice cream is meant to smell like, to be honest. It's not something we have here in the UK. But it's a nice scent note, that one. I'll definitely give it a go. Again, all these samples are going to go into my uh, melts for this week anyway. I have got a drink here as well, so I'm sorry if I keep going quiet. The next one I've got here is Super Tarts Data. This one is Lavender Cream Pear Slices. And I put SC and I can't remember what that is. Sugar cookie. Lavender cream, pear slices and sugar cookie. This is so nice. I love Super Tarts lavender cream anyway. It's a really nice scent. I didn't think I'd like this because of pear slices and the sugar cookie. But I really love sugar cookie now. So it's worth giving this one a go. I'll definitely see if I like that one. Probably going to be an evening melt for me. The next one is Super Tarts Batman, and this is from a bam bag or a bam bar. Batman is frosted blueberry cheesecake with lemon peel curl, um, lemon peel curls. And you just get lemon, if I'm quite honest. I don't smell the blueberry cheesecake note at all. I love lemon scents, so this is going to be really nice. It does have a little bit of a bakery note, but I'm not sure that I sense that it's cheesecake. Yeah, I'm going to like that one, I think. Definitely want to clear, clear the air, that will be. And the last Super Tart sample I have is Joker. Now, I have tried Joker before, but I never have actually melted it. So this one is Fruit Punch, Bubblegum and Mango. And you'd think I'd like this, but I really don't. There's a note to it that I really don't like. I think I've come to the conclusion it's actually bubblegum. It has a sort of a tangy, sour note to me. As I said, I will give it a go and give my warm reviews in the next couple of weeks anyway. And the next two I've got as samples are not a super tart. So this is Wonderberry Goody Gumdrops. And this actually is a sweet cinnamon gumdrop. So this is going to be a autumn or winter melt for me. And it is very cinnamon. Definitely not going to need the whole of this coin, I think. I'm going to have to chop this in half. It's very cinnamon. And you can smell that it's sweet, but you can't tell what exactly sweet it is. Yeah, I'll give that one a go. It's different for me. Definitely want to try. This next one has got to be melted with something because it's so tiny. This is Sweet Scents Watermelon, and I haven't tried this company even though they are a UK company. You can just about tell that it's watermelon. It's a very small sample. Probably better in a tea light melter than a an electric melter or a hot plate. Mm. I don't know what I'm going to melt that with. Probably some Mac apple to be fair. And the things I actually bought from her are the super tight things at the back. This first one is a no brainer for me. This is cotton candy frosting and Mac apple. I love Mac apple and you can really smell this mixed in with the cotton candy. This is such a nice smell. This one is going to be so nice when I have a headache. 
I will probably chop this into thirds purely because Mac Apple is so strong. Um, that one's going to be really nice, I can tell that now. And these next two are completely different for me, but I thought I'd really give them a go. So this is Sand Dollar Cookies. Cotton candy, pink sands and sugar cookies. So I'm loving sugar cookie at the moment. I love cotton candy and I've never really had pink sands. So I thought I'd give this one a go as well. Now on the top I get the sugar cookie note. But it smells really off. But then when you smell the bottom, you get the sort of pink sands fresh note. Or what I'm assuming is the fresh note. I know it's a Yankee dupe. So yeah, oh, yesterday I really liked the smell of that one. Today it's a bit iffy, but we will see. I'll melt a cube and I'll try it out. This next one I had to try when I saw it come up. This is Brave, and I know that um, Sarah from Things I Love 86 absolutely loves this. So this is sugar dusted ginger root, sweet cakes, and a slight note of Earl Grey tea. And I don't actually watch Once Upon a Time, so I'm not sure where the bear comes from. But this is so nice. You do get the ginger root, but I actually get more of the sweet cake, sweet cakes and the Earl Grey tea. I don't know why this is. There we go. Focus. I get more sweet cakes and grey tea. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it may change on warm, but on cold, this is so gorgeous. I think it'll actually be a one cuba because it really smells quite strong. So the other wax melts I did buy are from Wilkinson's, which is a local company here in the UK. Um, they do sell pretty much everything you need for your house. And I noticed these a couple of months ago and I've only just started to buy, buy them. These are their small wax melts. You don't get many in a pack. So this one, you get four. This is Pink Posies. It's meant to last up to 55 hours, but I really don't think that much of wax is going to last 55 hours. So Pink Posies literally is a sweet floral. Really quite nice. Almost, it smells a bit palm violet. And a bit... Um, yeah. Mostly violet, actually. That's all I'm getting. That one would be quite nice mixed with one of the others that I have. So I've got four melts there. This next one, it wouldn't come out of its package, so I have to repackage it. This is Orchard Delight. So you get quite a bit more melt in this one, I think, personally. So this back completely ripped off, so I have to repackage it. This one to me is literally a linen. Fresh linen, sort of clean, straight out of the dryer. That's a really nice scent to me. That one would mix with pink posies. So on the back of each of these, it does tell you you can mix them. So Orchid, Orchard Delight and Pink Posies is called Flower Power. So I will give that mix a go. Definitely have a try. And the last one I got actually managed to get the whole star out of its package. And this one is called Summer Fruits. And believe me, this is a summer fruit. This is like... This is raspberries, strawberries, and melon, I think. I absolutely love this. Oops. This one's not that bad. I mean, these cost me, I think these cost me like 50p to a pound each. I can't remember exactly. Oh, this one's so nice. So, summer fruits and pink posies would be called garden party. So, I have to try that. Um... And then Summer Fruit and Orchid Delight is Summer Festival. So, yep, I'll definitely give that one a go as well. So, they were all the wax melts that I've purchased recently. I may have another delivery soon from a friend when I shared her my more box with her. Now, I'm going to go on to the small amount of Lush that I have bought. And these were literally just backups of things that I needed. So, I managed to buy a... 250 gram of I Love Juicy Shampoo. This is really good for oily hair. So it's juicy fruits give you the freshest smoothie hair imaginable. Mango, papaya, kiwi and pineapple jelly shampoo to blast through the grease and oily hair bouncy and make it clean once more. Absolutely an amazing um, scent. 
and product. It does not leave my hair greasy. It makes it absolutely amazingly shiny. I don't even use conditioner when I use this because it is that good. So this is fine sea salt, carrageenan extract, sweet orange oil, fresh pineapple juice, fresh kiwi juice, fresh mango juice. I think that's it. And lemon oil. And oh, fresh reduced papaya. So yeah, this is a really good one. This is my second bottle, but it's the big bottle. I did use a hundred gram and that took me a very long time to use up. So I'm glad I got a large one. And it is completely filled to the top as well. Absolutely love the scent of this. So glad to have that back in my life. Can't put them anywhere, sorry. And then the second thing that I got, it was just a small lush order, is a new aroma water toner water. So kind aromatherapy water to cherish your face, a gentle tonic for everyday use that will help hydrate the skin without causing it to overreact. Now this is a lavender water and rose water oil and I absolutely love this. I spray this on my face in the morning and night after I've used my cleanser and it's absolutely amazing. Again I just got another 100 gram but this has lasted me such a long time so I'm glad to have a new one. Um, I really couldn't be without these two. So these two are my main things that I love from Lush as well as Ultra Bland cleanser which I am still using quite a large size up. So I will just show you the freebies as well that I got and one of them I am absolutely really upset with. So the first one I got is Dream Cream Body Lotion. I have never tried this. I don't really think this has a smell. No, it doesn't really have a smell so that will probably be used up and popped into my empties soon. And then the second sample I got I'm really upset about. This is Yuzu and Cocoa Shower Cream. Now I absolutely love this scent and unfortunately this is one of the scents that they are now discontinuing. I love the colour, that is gorgeous. But to me this smells like a bounty bar. Like any UK viewers you'll know what I mean here. But it is basically, to me this is coconut and chocolate. <laughs> Sounds so weird. But unfortunately they are discontinuing this product so I am going to have to buy myself some of this before it goes out because I absolutely love the scent of it and unfortunately they are also discontinuing the comforter shower cream which I absolutely love as well so you will see another haul here soon as soon as I have purchased them so thanks for watching this guys I'm hoping to do my melt box next so stay tuned for that thank you bye